morning, Cubs fam, and you know what that means. We are here for Rogue Actions, ladies and gentlemen, and Rogue Actions is never Rogue Actions without the one and only Urza Tron. What's going on, Urza? Oh, Cubs, I'm just ready to talk some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and I'm very excited to be here with the Cubs fam. <laughs> All right. Urza, I hope your voice makes it through this. We just did his half of the video, which, by the way, link down below in the description. Go ahead and check Urza's half of the of the video out for sure. And uh, he's, he might need to take a couple sips of his Carillion over there. Yeah, yeah. It's an allergy <laughs> season on Tatooine right here, Cubs. Allergy uh, season? Sons are, yeah. Everyone put your face just... masks on for this video uh, just in case. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. You guys know the drill. We got three subjects on Urza's video, three subjects on mine. We already covered Urza, so we're going to jump right into the meme of the week. That's how we always start over here. Urza, have you seen this meme of the week yet? Did I, I have show you? not. I haven't looked at any of the memes this week. Is it a riffraff meme? All right, you're fresh. Me. It's not riffraff. It's uh, oh whoever this guy is. Yeah, riffraff has been, been let's go. So here we go. It says, new raid in development for over a year. Three TIE Fighters coming down. Then we got CG yeah. releasing Galactic Legends that will break the raid before it's even released. New raid canceled! <laughs> canceled. <It's> CG. <laughs> Woo! I like this! <laughs> Urza, it actually makes me, it makes me contemplate the question. Is this the real reason why the raid was canceled? <laughs> it could be. Uh, there's a problem. Hold on. Go back to that meme. There's okay. a problem. Don't okay. they usually write three things with that meme? Like the TIE Fighters all represent three different things? Three words. New, raid, canceled. Oh, okay, okay. Will all you right. buy that? I'll it's, take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, they, pro they probably could have... They, they uh, didn't use the format right. You, you know what they could have like... done? They, they could have said new raid canceled, uh, no sandbox mode, yes, no live see? PvP. See, we, we read too many. See, that's we, we got we got one point one point one k upvotes on this one. If we would have made this meme, we would have got two point one k upvotes. Know the format, people. If you're gonna <laughs> meme, you gotta know the format. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you you looked legitimately pissed about the format there. <laughs> I've seen that format. I'm, I'm I'm on sequel memes, not as good as prequel memes, mind you, but uh, I see them all, man. Why and why, Urza? Why are the sequel memes not as good as the prequel memes? It's because the guy running sequel memes is no. not as good as the guy running no, prequel memes. No. It has nothing to do with the movies. No, it's it has because everything the prequels to do with are the worse guy. than the sequels. No, 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 it's the guy running it. He's not. He's not as good as <laughs> the prequel. There's better meme memeable guy. content in the prequels. Better memeable no, content. I, I just think that they're misusing the sequel content. I love all it, Star Wars films. Okay, let's yeah, move yeah. on to the next subject. <laughs> we have got the GAC season hitting, ladies and gentlemen. And like let's talk avatar. a little bit about this. Um, so we're going to jump right back over here. Season 7, we have got the Grand Arena Championships uh, being celebrated, the, uh, celebrating the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. And based on the way they've worded this, Urza, I want to ask you this question. Does it seem to you like this is... The Empire Strikes Back celebration that CG was referring to in the State of the Galaxy post. This is it. Yes, and I, I, I hate that. I hate it. Yes, it feels like that. This is the big celebration, and they made a point about spreading it out over two Grand Arena seasons. So you got to feel like their big celebration is a Rolo portrait, which I'm a Rolo fan, so whatever. It's a cool and Rolo a Wampa, portrait. I mean, and look a, at, I think that isn't, yeah, look at your girl, man. Well? Look at her. Look at how. Look at the look on She's her face. Beautiful. You know. Yeah. That's content. Uh, it's let's content. Just, let's, let's exactly. zoom, let's zoom in on that. Like, look at this. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying I can, to. I, I, I'm I trying to speak optimism here. I'm trying to speak and optimism. Then the, here. Then the, and then you've got the tundra predator. predator yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's that's all we got for. Were you expecting more? I just for, I, for the tell, Empire me, Strikes Back. tell me if I'm a little out of line here, but when they said we were going to be celebrating the Empire Strikes Back, I'm like, okay, so we're celebrating the greatest Star Wars film of all time, in my humble arguably. opinion, arguably. Um, yeah. I've debated this and gone back and forth, but I think if I really strip my bias away, I, I feel like Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars film of all time. And we don't get hyped about feats. Does this community ever get hyped about feats? Is Oh. I, tell me in the comments, have you ever looked at feats and went, oh, feats, let's go. Who, has anybody ever done that? So the only feats I enjoy are, are, are mobile gamer socks. So that's, that's <laughs> pretty much it, is boomer socks. You know what we need? We need a portrait of uh, mobile gamer socks in game, boomer socks. Yeah. The boomer the socks portrait. Bo yeah. and, and, and what you have to do for that is you have to lose to a grievous team. Let me tell you this, raged. Cubs. 
let me tell you this, Cubs. You know how many times I've gone for feats? None. Zero times. Me too. Because I've, I've, I've never thought about it. I don't care. I've never thought of people are like, you know, it's always that thing when we stream GAC Cubs. It's like, well, you, you got to go do this for your feats. It's like, get the heck out of here with that. Like, I'm here to just have fun. Like, yeah, I'm 100% yeah. with you. See, fe feats to me don't add to the enjoyment. Uh, they just make me stressed ultimately because yeah. I, if I think about them, because I don't want to nerf my strategy to get a portrait. I, I don't they care about portraits either. The only thing that I would do, like it, if it was like sub, some super niche thing, yeah, it was like it was like, oh, take your relic five Gamorian Guardian and you get this <laughs> portrait, then yeah. I would do it. Then I would care. But it's uh, just like they make it so it's like you're chasing thing. I don't know. I'm just not into so it. So I'm hoping that we're wrong, and hopefully there's something else we're doing to celebrate the Empire Strikes Back. But if this is all we're doing, I'm gonna label this a massive disappointment to tease us in the state of the galaxy post that we're going to celebrate the greatest star wars film of all time and that we only get feats which is something i think maybe three people in the whole community enjoy is that is that fair that's fair man like they have there's so much they could do to, to like rework rollo like just we talked about this before cubs there's so much they could do like i just don't understand how there's not one guy on staff i've complained about this many times on Rogue yeah. action there's not one guy on staff who every monday morning before the big staff meeting, all he's yeah. got to do is move some sliders for damage on old characters, and then they can put that in the update notes. Why the are they? They're so against reworks. Like, when, when well, was how the last real rework we had? Like, if if they if they if they if they, if they, if they sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here. If they re, <laughs> if they just went to Hoth Rebel Scout and Hoth Rebel Soldier, and they were like, guess what? We amped up their damage 150 percent, and you know, all of a sudden these generic characters. Are hitting for 15k like that would be interesting that would be fun that's not gonna break the game those guys aren't gonna break yeah. the game like why are that we not doing things like that well we've got gac and i think something that would be really cool that i think this game could really use is say you take grand arena and you double the amount of teams that are used double it and yes. you've got deep rosters you've got yeah. really deep rosters and you got all of these characters like hoth rebel scout that they force us to farm forever ago or rollo um vet han that you could give just slight tune-ups to they don't need to beat galactic legends they don't need to beat darth revan but they might be beating night sisters they might be beating some other teams and they might have use in grand arena expand the usability of your characters i think there's a really big issue in this game uh with only the top echelon of characters finding value in the game and i think it's time with how long this game's been around and how many characters are there for them to expand that and rework old characters that have got no love no it's, love it's easy layups for them this is why they continue to fail in my eyes that is an easy thing that they can put on yeah. a just like a state of the galaxy post oh fyi guys we took lando calrissian's damage and we we scaled it by 100% it was it was nothing i yeah i just and don't like, see why that should be gonna, that's crazy. not gonna break anything no. that's not gonna break anything in no. fact that may that may incentivize people to relic up their lando calrissian a character who's pretty useless right now it is monetizable like it's literally monetizable yes. if you take those useless characters like hoth rebel scout and here here's the thing they got to consider the people like me and you right now who are going to be going for characters that aren't galactic legends especially you because uh, i guess i'm not willing they should they're not going to consider me but you'll whale on stuff like the Mandalorian. You would yep. probably go all in on Rolo pretty quickly and go yep. all in. I don't know if you have her already. You probably do the way you are. Do, do you have her gear 13? Roller's, Roller's Relic 5 for me, Cubs. <laughs> not, not to flex on you. But I, gotta, I, gotta I was saying that. I'm like, Rolo. actually, knowing Urza, he's probably got a Relic <laughs> Rolo. You bad dog. You take yeah. her to Relic 7 instantly and you'd, you'd pay for yeah. the refreshes. But Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. It's just basic things like that, man. Like, come on. That doesn't take... That takes, like, five minutes of someone's day. It's not going to break the game either. The, it's really remarkable, actually. And you know what? Maybe it is a sign of, of you know, what their thinking is for us in this game. But it's remarkable how little they do to take those easy layups, right? There's just... There's so many little things they could be doing. Little yes. things that they don't do and they don't do and they don't do. And it just it constantly makes me think, like... Do they, they, I I wonder if they even care about pleasing the community sometimes. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's, let's get a little more positive. We have got 
Grand Arena three v three coming, and that is positive in my opinion. Even though I'm not, I never care about feats, and it, we're kind of disappointed about this Grand Arena. We've got 3v3, which I'm stoked about. We talked about some 3v3 offensive teams on Urza's channel. Let's talk about 3v3 defensive teams. I'll turn it over to you first. I've got two spicy defensive teams for you, Urza, that I want to share with you guys, uh, everyone watching, and Urza. And then be sure right now, fill up your comments down below with your spicy 3v3 defensive teams. Urza, give me one. Give me one 3v3 defensive team you love. Um, so I'm gonna go. I got I got my red lobster there. I'm looking at the stock footage right there. I got my red lobster rolling with some Sith, okay. and I'm excited. He's Relic Seven. I'm probably gonna put oh, my man. red lobster uh, maybe with a Treya and Scion, uh, Treya lead and okay. Nihilist free, or potentially Galactic Legends. So that's what I'm looking to do. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put that on defense. Uh, uh, what, what, I don't know. What do you got I going? It, I what think you... it would work on defense. I have seen before what can happen with Treya and Sith Trooper, and that's yeah. a dirty combo on defense, man. I've seen it five v five though. I haven't seen it three v three. So you should try it. See if you get some home. You should All right. try it. All right. We'll, All right. Let we'll me give it. it. Let me give you a fun team. So I one thing I really like about three v three is putting together characters that you're just not used to seeing together to catch people off guard because you're very exposed in 3v3. And so I got this, I actually got this idea from Istris Ian. So I'm going to give him the credit for this theory craft, but I'm really excited to put it on defense. That is old Ben with Watt Tambor and nice sister spirit. Think okay, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Envision uh, yeah. how that works. So old Ben's going to permatant. You're going to need to get the Zeta on him. So that's, I've got a Zeta safe for him too. I'm going to dump it on him. I don't have it right now. And uh, that just lets Spirit go to town because she's going to be stealthing. She's going to be just, dude, or she's going to have foresight. And so Old Ben's going to be taunting. A, you're going you're to have the med pack on Old Ben on defense. Yeah. So I have Watt this time. My Watt's not seven star. He's like 10 shards off. That's yeah. killing me. Um, so I have Watt this team. So Watt's the X factor here. You can do so much cool stuff with him. And maybe uh, I'd like to see like Watt with a think tank. You, you yeah. maybe I, So I've, I've, got a, I've got a gear 12 Vanshu. And then oh, I could do like a Watt dude. with Vanshu on defense and then dude. maybe just yeah. some sort of like sneaky, like, I don't know. Just I like, love that idea. Time bomb going off. And is does Watt uh, count as a scoundrel? I forget. No, I think he's just droid and galactic, uh, or I'm sorry, um, separatist. I'm looking at this right now. Yeah, he's just separatist. For some reason, I thought he counted as scoundrel for some reason. Um, anyway, okay, how about, I I've got one more for you. I've got one more okay. for you. Okay. Darth Vader with um, Mission and Zalbar. As is, people have done this before. This isn't anything new. But hey, yeah. have you have you seen that before, 3v3? So usually I see Vader with like Wampa and some sort of dot comp. This is um, a dot comp though. Mission yeah, and Zalbar, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very cool. It's, 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 a, it's a Vader lead, I assume. Yeah, yeah Vader lead, to. and I've got the Zade on him. So... You just yeah, get man. so many dots and they just they just stack and stack and stack and stack and it's just there's you, so much synergy there. Are your are your mission and Zal Zeta as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Zeta oh, wow. get full gear twelve. Get which gear twelve for me is a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Those are those characters are fun. I, I just never had the Zetas to invest on. I get but, holds uh, with that team. If you guys have never tried that team out, try it. Place it on defense, see what happens if you've got it. Oh man. Yeah, guys, we wanna know your sneaky comps. You gotta let us sneaky. know below. Um, that, that, that also couples from my video as well. Sneaky offensive comps. Uh, I think Watt is going to be an MVP. And let's yeah. not forget, Cubs, Droid Eka, always a stud in 3v3 as well. Really good 3v3 character. And I actually, that uh, that old Ben team with Watt, um, I'd be curious to see what it would look like instead of Spirit if you put Droid Eka there. Get that oh, damage yeah. immunity there. Have uh, old Ben Permatanti and just let Droid Eka just... Oh, that would be great, dude. Imagine like three. Dude, we're starting to see damage immunity quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, imagine like Django and Droid Eka. Oh, uh, two with, separatists there. Oh, yeah. That's dude. That's good too. There's yeah. a lot you could do. Yep. Okay. So, yep. Fill up the comments below with any of those spicy teams. Urza, did you have any other teams you wanted to share? Or are we good? Uh, we're good, man. All right. Well, hey everyone. Thank you so much for dropping by Rogue Actions. It's always fun having you here for Rogue Actions, Urza. And we, I always give you a chance to say whatever you want at the end of the video. You got anything to say? Uh, you guys have a great, fantastic week, and uh, enjoy Grand Arena. It's coming back on Wednesday. Grand Arena, everyone. Let's turn up the jams for Grand Arena. We're going to end the video, ladies and gentlemen. Be 
sure to come to my Twitch stream, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and check out Urza. He's streaming Grand Arena with the hall. Everyone, like the video. Love you all, and have a great day. And remember, my ladies and gentlemen, Han shot first.